Mga yung adlaw mga kagulaan! Ako si Chakoy and you're watching Wandering Cuisina. Today's episode, we're going to be cooking pork asado. And to cook with us is Chef Mark. Hi mga kawanders! Ako si Mark. And today, magluluto tayo ng asadong baboy or pork asado. And what are the ingredients that we're going to use? Here are our ingredients. We have pork belly. Renewal ko lang siya para maiba. Kasi kasagaran, yung ginagamit ng asado is lahat is laman. Now for those who doesn't know, uh, asado, pork asado is usually made during uh, celebrations like fiesta or birthday celebrations. And you can also use uh, see this in Shopao. It's a white steamed bread with pork meat inside. So you can actually have beef asado or chicken asado. However, we're going to try it in the Kapampangan way, which is the culinary capital of the Philippines, Pampanga. So Chef yes. Mark is going to show us on how it's going to be made. So we have three tablespoons of garlic chopped. We have lemon juice, a half cup of lemon juice. We have bay leaves, chopped onions, two bulbs. And then we will use chopped tomato in can. Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng fresh tomato. Yes, and you have to take off the peel and, the, and the seeds. Yes. Peppercorn, soy sauce, vinegar, and tomato paste. We will use also oil for frying. So, let's start the process. So, the first step, so we will marinate our meat, lemon juice, okay, soy sauce. And one, how many cups? Three, four. Three, four cups. Okay, three, four cups of soy sauce. Then, one half cup of vinegar. All right. Then we will put a little bit of uh, garlic. So we're not going to use everything on it. We will do. We will use this one after uh, for okay. stirring. Uh, for frying. For fry. No. For stir fry. Stir fry. Okay. A little bit of and garlic onion. and then and a little bit of onion. Para lang maglasa siya. Okay. Peppercorn. All right. Usually, minamarinate namin to overnight kung mm. may andahan mm -hmm. sa piyestahan. Binababad na to, minamarinate na to night before the piyesta. Basically, the preparation for asada because in, in the past there were no refrigerators and to mm. uh, preserve the meat, especially if there's a celebration the next day, for it to be uh, ready for cooking, they uh, marinate it with these ingredients and then usually it takes on, over an overnight marination. However, so however, we can marinate it around 30 minutes mm -hmm. will be okay. Okay, so, it so will we're be just better going, if mm -hmm. overnight. The best way to get the best asado is to uh, marinate it overnight. But this one, we're going to marinate it for 30 minutes, and let's see how delicious it will be. So, mga kawanders, we're back. 30 minutes is over, and now we're going to start the cooking process of the asado. So now, after 30 minutes, we'll fry our meat. So we'll put oil now. So when cooking asado, especially this kind of asado, the kapangpangan asado, you need to use a thong because you need to have a support to hold the full uh, meat itself. The original asado is not like this. Puro laman lang siya and then cut into big piece. Ah, our pan is already uh, heated up. Chef Mark is calling this pork asado roll. So, so make sure to prepare, uh, prepare a cover uh, on the lid cover. of the pan because this is going to really just splash. See? This so mar this marinade, we will set aside and we will use it later. Yeah. So Chef Mark just uh, turned the heat into medium. Yeah, para hindi masyadong masunog. Yeah. And the meat won't get easily burned. So in this process, we're actually frying it. 70% cook the meat. Okay. And then we'll cook it again later. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to make, make sure that every part of it is turned, right? Okay. 
So mga kawanders, we are now just making sure that every part every of side. the pork, every yeah, side. all the sides of this pork roll are fried. So there you go mga kawanders. So this is how it looks like right now. So are we going to make this crispy all throughout? No. Just it's make just it a little bit brown or okay. fry. So we're not aiming for crispiness no. here, yeah? So we're, this is done? Yeah, now our frying process is done. So look at that, guys. So this is how it looks like right now. Each side is brown. Look at that. And it's not totally fried. So we're going to put it aside. The next process, the actual mixing of all ingredients. So we've got a wok, a bigger wok, and this time... A uh, little bit of oil. That's enough? enough. Okay. So, saute our garlic. And onion. So we're going to open the tomato sauce. This is actually uh, chopped tomatoes. And this is already peeled and seeded. So I'm going to pour it here. Yes. So this is actually not tomato sauce, but chopped tomatoes in can, which will be uh, actually easier for you to use. The bay lips. All of it? Yes. So, pag kumulo na to, we will put the okay. the one that we marinate. So, the marinade, we're going to add in the marinade once it boils. So, I believe this is already boiling, so should okay, we wait for a few it. more seconds? Now, you can put the marinade. Now, we'll put the marinade. There you go, guys. So, what taste are we expecting here? Sour, sourness and saltiness. saltiness. That's all. There's no sweetness in this one. We can add sugar if, if we, we want, want to. Mm. So, mga okay. wonders, we're going to add now the tomato paste. Okay. So we will add one cup of water. And we we'll use also sugar, brown sugar. Now we haven't uh, showed you the sugar yet, but this is an option if you want it to be a little sweet. And we decided to make it a little mm. sweet. Although Filipinos usually love sweet, uh, sweet. One and a half tablespoon. Yeah. I think it's enough. Although Filipinos love sweetness in their food. So before you put our meat, before we put our meat, we need to be sure that all the ingredients is in and the taste is uh, yes. final. Yes, if the taste is already up to your liking and it already, if it already suits you. Now what we're aiming here now is a little sourness because of the vinegar and the lemon. And then we have that salty taste because of the soy sauce. Mm. So now we will put our meat in our sauce. Now let's put in the belly raw. Now this is the long process. Okay. Because you need to make it make it sure our meat is very tender mm -hmm. and cooked. Yeah, and the sauce is going to make that happen. Less, yeah. We'll cover it and we will wait for our meat to become, to become tender. tender. Yes. And it will be finished. So just an update. So mga wonders, we transfer it in the casserole, a casserola or casserole. Yeah, we, we transfer it into a pot so that we can have the sauce um, concentrated into one space. Mm -hmm. And then it's easy for us to pour over and we can cover it uh, easily. You poke into the meat so that the sauce can seep into the meat. The sauce has lessened already and it's more sticky. So we are expecting it to be less at a very low heat. We're going to come back after 30 more minutes. 
30 minutes is over. Ito yung gusto nating makuha ang consistency ng sauce niya. Okay. Puro sauce na lang yan. Yun. Super thick. Yes, yeah, super thick. So it's ready. Look at that. So let's remove the strings. Strings. Si may tali siya. Yes. Yeah. Ang lambot. See, look at that. It's so soft. You will you will know that it is soft because you can slice it easily. So there you go, mga kawanders. This is the kapampangan pork asado roll. Ang sarap. We've tasted one of the pieces. It's so delicious, mga kawanders. It's really tender. And the sauce, it's like no other. This is perfect for Christmas. And this is perfect as well for celebration like birthdays or fiesta. Dekhang salamat for watching, mga kawanders. If you have subscribed to Wondering Cuisina, please click that subscribe button and click as well that notification bell so that you'll be updated of our new videos. And we also have... We also have... Uh... Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yes, please follow us on those social media pages. And thank you very much once again for watching. I am Chakoy. And I'm Mark. Stay cool, stay safe, and peace. Peace.